Hi, it's Tyler and welcome back to After the Run. I'm starting a new challenge this week and so I wanted to tell you about it. And if you want videos, if you want updates, you'll have to put that in the comments because I don't know if I want to turn this into like a series or not. But let me tell you what I'm doing. All right, so right now it's mid-May and we just ended our school year. This is uh, an important part of the year for me because two years ago in mid-May, on the first day of summer vacation for me, that's when I started my weight loss journey. From 2018 to 2019, I lost 103 pounds. I lost 17% body fat uh, and I ran a lot. I, I ran a marathon. Uh, over that year, I ran over 1,000 miles. I biked about 2,000 miles and I just, it felt great. Now, I lost about 100 pounds, and of those 100 pounds, 75 pounds were fat and 25 pounds were muscle. I didn't know that until just recently. I looked at the data and tried to analyze what happened because that was two years ago. Last year, after I lost 100 pounds, I decided to loosen up a little bit on my diet and try some different things out with exercise and see what effect it would have on me. And you know, during the year I've been up and down with my weight and it's been kind of depressing because I'm still exercising, I'm still eating healthy, but I'm not losing weight. And I was so frustrated because I just seemed to be hovering between, you know, I, I got down to 203 and then right after that I kind of bounced up 10 pounds. So I never was really in the low 200s for very long just to make it to that 100 pound uh, weight loss level and then I kind of bounced back. So I've really been hanging out around 215 to 230 and fluctuating between those, but I've kept working hard. And what happened, this is, it's exciting to talk about now because it's been so frustrating and so disappointing for a year to not be losing weight. But here's what I found. I ran all the numbers. I looked at all the data that I've been tracking as far as um, not just my weight, but my body fat percentage, uh, the percentage of muscle mass versus fat versus bone density and bone weight. And what has happened in the last year, from May of last year till now, is I actually lost another 5 pounds of fat, but I've gained 25 pounds of muscle. So, uh, you know, muscle, <laughs> uh, it's heavy. And so my, my weight has gone up by 20 pounds, but I'm probably healthier now than I was a year ago. So even though I've loosened up on my diet a little bit, um, by trying new things with exercise and by continuing to work hard and consistently, I'm still building muscle, which is awesome. Um, so now I have to decide what I want to do moving forward, and that's why I'm shooting this video. I already shot one just for me, but this one's the one I'll put on the website. It's gonna be shorter, but I just want to tell you what I'm doing. Over the next year, I want to lose more weight, but not sacrifice too much muscle. You know, that first year I lost 25 pounds of muscle while I lost 75 pounds of fat. And then I gained those 25 pounds of muscle back last year. So I'm actually, right now, I'm 75 pounds of fat less than I was two years ago, but my muscle's the same. So even though I'm not carrying as much weight and carrying as much fat, I'm actually much stronger now than I was two years ago. Well, by this time next year, I'd like to be just as strong, but I'd like to lose another 20 or 30 pounds. So here's what I'm going to do. I've decided to make three changes to my diet and three changes to my exercise regimen which are going to be some small sacrifices for me, but I'm going to be consistent with it so I can reach some weight loss goals. I want to go, during year one, I went from 40% body fat down to 23% body fat. During year two, I went from that 23% down to 17.5%. So I've lost another 5% body fat last year. I want to lose 5 more percent of body fat this year, get down to 12% body fat, which would be insane. So you might even be able to see my abs if I do that. That would be amazing. Right now I just have a spare tire and a lot of extra loose skin from losing all that weight. But what I'd like to do is to get down to 12% body fat. That means I'm really going to have to lose 30 to 40 pounds of fat because I'll probably I uh, gain a little bit of muscle during the year. So if I don't want to sacrifice muscle, I have to lose a lot of fat. Well, to do that, I'm going to continue doing my cardio. And my first exercise goal is to do 30 minutes of cardio a day minimum. Now, that's not going to be hard for me, except for that I used to have one or two rest days during the week. 
Now, I'm still going to take Sundays off, so six days a week I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio, and honestly, I'll probably do more than that most days just because I love to run, um, but that's the minimum level is 30 minutes cardio. Now, the second part of my exercise regimen is going to be more difficult, and that's 30 minutes of strength training every day. I'm used to, during my first year, I would exercise, do strength training once or twice a week. Uh, and then this last year, as I gained that muscle back, I upped that to two or three, maybe four days of strength training per week. Plus, I started doing push-ups, sit-ups, uh, squats, and jumpy jacks every day. Um, or at least most days. And so that's where I saw the muscle gains was that consistency with doing about 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 100 jumpy jacks, and 50 squats. Now, this year, I'm going to up that by going, so 30 minutes of cardio, 30 minutes of strength training every day, and then instead of doing 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups every day, I'm going to do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups every single day, except for Sundays. So I, I keep saying every single day, but Sunday's a day of rest for me, you know, and so I need that. It, part of it's religious, but part of it's it, our body needs a break. And so I love having that, that seventh day of rest. Okay, so that's the physical challenge. I think if I do that, I'm going to gain another 10, maybe 20 pounds of muscle over the next year. Now, to lose the fat, that's the hard thing. Um, over the last few years, I found that the biggest things that have helped me to lose fat is radically changing my diet in that I have to get rid of sugar. Honestly, when you eat sugar, added sugar to things, it makes you crave other food and you're hungry all the time. So that during that first year, I gave up added sugar completely and it made a huge difference. Last year, I reintroduced sugar into my diet and I found that, you know, I loved eating sweet things again um, but it, those cravings came back and the inflammation. I have gut inflammation that comes with sugar. And so I'm cutting that out. No more added sugar. Now another part of, so that's step one of my diet. Step two of my diet is no snacking. So I find that if I snack during the day, I get hungry. It triggers those cravings. And so I'm not doing any snacks. Um, both in year one and in year two, I did have a few snacks during the week. It wasn't, it was only in the evening and it was only once or twice, maybe three times a week. So this isn't going to be a huge departure for me, but it, it will be a psychological challenge for me because I always knew before, okay, if I wait a few days, then I can have some popcorn at night or maybe I'll have something sweet at night. Um, this last year I had more sugar, so I'd look forward to ice cream once a week or something like that. I'm getting rid of that because I need to make some changes to lose this fat. So no more snacking. And then the third thing is connected to that, um, only two meals a day. I, I'm right now and for the last two years, I basically only have two meals a day anyway, so it's not going to change much in that regard. I have two big solid meals, a big lunch and a big dinner. Um, and I do this, the research on intermittent fasting and on having big meals versus lots of short meals, it, the research is kind of all over the map. For strength training and building muscle, most people say have lots of short meals or, or lots of small meals, two hours apart or whatever, and you're going to build muscle. But most people who are building muscle aren't also trying to lose a lot of fat. With me wanting to try to lose a lot of fat, for me the priority is getting rid of things that make me crave food. And after having been obese for two decades, I know what my body needs and, and how it reacts to certain things. And I know that if I'm snacking during the day, um, I'm going to crave food during the day. So by simply having lunch and dinner, I don't have to make that decision anymore. I know I'm only going to have two meals a day. They're going to be big meals. They're going to be healthy meals. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. Last year, I would do breakfast on the weekends when I was with my kids. I'd have breakfast on Saturday and Sunday. I'm getting rid of that. Um, even though I do my long run on Saturday and so what will happen is I'll do a long run Saturday morning and then just have probably an earlier lunch um, like at 11 o'clock and then a normal dinner. So uh, my schedule might adjust a little bit because I want to eat when I'm done with it. You know if you're doing cardio for three, four, five hours you need to get some fuel in you. So um, I want to do that workout on an empty stomach for the fat burn that happens. Um, and I love that intermittent fasting can help with that. 
So that's the plan. Three changes to my diet, three changes to my exercise routine. I'm trying to lose 30 or 40 pounds of fat, gain about 10 pounds of muscle. It's going to be insane. But I wanted to let you know what I'm doing. I haven't posted to this channel in quite a while, mostly because honestly, I, I was a little embarrassed. After losing 100 pounds, I wanted to share more videos with you about continuing to lose weight, continuing to get healthy. And I didn't lose weight, but I'm now happy to realize that is because I was gaining so much muscle. And so I am healthy, I'm doing a good job, I have over the last year. Um, it's good to be back on the YouTube channel. If you want to get regular updates about what I'm doing, um, I'm planning on doing weekly check-in videos just for me, so I'll be recording them. But if you want me to talk about stuff, if you want me to tell you more about my diet or my exercise routine or anything like that, just drop that in the comments. And if, if you're asking for the things, I'll put it up. If you're not, then I'm just going to make these videos for me and I'll throw up the transformation videos or, you know, the, the ones that are, are more significant after a while. Uh, but I'm just happy to have my life back, that I'm healthy, um, I'm productive, things are going really great. So um, I, I love that I've been able to share part of this journey with you and I hope it's been valuable. All right, until next time, see you later.